Malay Shved is the chairman of Apparel Group. The multi-billion dollar group has over 1,500 stores and more than 75 international brands. It had a rather modest start, commencing its operation with just one brand in 1999. Nilesh revolutionized the retail industry. Setting a strong foothold in the Gulf, the apparel group has now crossed regional boundaries and embarked in the global market. Nilesh has a BSc in Business Administration from Boston University. We are genuinely privileged to be welcomed here by Nilesh Ved, the chairman of Apparel Group. And as I walked in, I saw these amazing sort of plethora of brands and stuff. And that is uh, the story of the Apparel Group and uh, Nilesh's life. Nilesh, it's a real pleasure to see you. It's a real privilege to be here. Thank you very much, Tariq, for coming to our office and doing this with us. So when you were at university, were you thinking of becoming an entrepreneur? And I have the mindset of building things, right? right? I like building. Right. So uh, I was not sure what I'm going to do. Right. There is no way I can tell you that. This business was started by my wife, Seema. Right. And I took it over. Okay. Right. So that uh, businesses are like when you spill water on the floor, right? right. It's going to find ways to get somewhere. Yeah. You, you don't know where you're going, but you have a destination. But you're going to find ways to get there. When an entrepreneur starts that business, he knows one few things, right? Yeah. How can I make it low cost? Yeah. How can I make good quality? Yeah. And how can I be fast? Yeah. What are those basic rules that you're working with? So if you have that, one is understanding the other, the partner, be it uh, an Aldo or be it a Tim Hortons or be it a Tommy Hilfiger. They all come from North America, yeah. but they all have different culture, different mindset in different views, right? We have to manage that relationship. We work with a Chinese brand, we have to manage that relationship. We work with Indian landlords, yeah. we got to manage that relationship. Today, in business, a lot of time is relationship management sure. and relationship capital. It doesn't show on your balance sheet, yeah. Yeah. right? But it's very important that capital yeah. that you need to do what you need to do. How did you grow that culture and that environment to build your business with people? Our idea is always to take average people, right? And make them heroes, Interesting. right? And the biggest thing in our business is no egos. Share with us some of your failures. The key that we've learned is don't be shy of failure. Is, is there something else? There's a reason that you're failing. Because one, it makes you com comfortable of saying, I fail. I can move forward with it. Two is, every time we fail, we learn something new. What are your plans to take off? Or are you helping? Or are you just going to cruise? As a company, as a culture, we don't cruise. We don't sleep, right? We added more companies. Let's say this year we took Levi's, we took Nautica, we took Pumpkin Patch, we took, uh, we took Juicy Couture. And now we signed DSW, which is Designer Shoe Warehouse. We added this. Why? It's because it's adding that floor on the Burj Khalifa. It's an add-on business. I have the infrastructure. I have to add on. So when is it enough? It's never enough. It's never enough. I, it's, one, it's not about, people think it's all about money. The financial comes, that part is done, yeah. right? It's drive of building people and seeing what they can do. I always say, if my team, kids are going to better school, then I've done a decent job. If they have a better lifestyle, then I've done a decent job. And if they can be inspiration for their kids and everybody else, then we've done what we need to do. Let's fast forward you and take you into the future, uh, onto your 90th birthday. So what will we be celebrating? A 90th birthday, as a company, what reputation do you want to have? A reputation like Tata. That's a company. Right? When you see that name on a truck anywhere else, anywhere in the world, you feel good about it. It's about community, it's about how do we make a difference in a country and be part of it. Nilesh, it's been a genuine privilege and I've heard a lot about you, I've seen a lot of your stuff, I've uh, read about you in all sorts of places, but today is the first time I've had a, a genuine, meaningful, authentic conversation. And thank you from my heart that you've been so open 
and that's the inspiration the young people are looking for. So thank you very much for inviting us here. Thank you very much for, for welcoming us here in your environment. And I hope you do wonderful, great things in the future. Thank, thank you, you, sir.